I, I'm sure you feel it every time you go and fight, but there's this sound. They got to a level of this sound where it doesn't get any high because it's so loud. Just like, we've done it, we've done it. We have literally spent 17 hours a day running and we have done it and look at these people that we've brought on the journey. Yeah, so a fly flew into my peeled off toe. Damn. Oh, and laid, oh, and laid eggs. Yuck. And then three days later, I'm like lying in the uh, Nullarbor Roadhouse. Yeah. I like could, I thought I had an ingrown toe. Yeah. I could not get the um, feeling, like the pain away. Yeah. And then I like was like, what the fuck? So the next day I'm running, it's still hurting. Yeah. Rain, thaws water. How many days in? It's about day 20. Oh shit. And I clipped my toenail away because I thought it was water. Yeah. Uh, and I just saw a fucking squirmy little like red blood inside this yellow outline and it's Yo. just been eating away at me and like five Beasting. of them, five of them came out. Oh yeah. That's deep. Oh! <laughs> How crook is that? Wow, that's strong. Here, you should listen to the commentary. Oh my god. Oh my god, Ned, How many is there? Damn! <laughs> that one, that's a fa it's got blood inside it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what mum's saying, she's wow. like... Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, you put this on the gram? Ah, uh, no, I didn't. We're yeah. gonna put it in the doco. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. Right. I like it. I, I was like, like it, how yeah. many of you fuckers want to see this? You sick yeah. bastard. <laughs> and then there was like forty thousand people went, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I was <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah let's good, put good. this later. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was. I'm glad we filmed it because it was mm. not once. That's that raw. Was, yeah, that's raw. Fuck, it was crook. I want to give you this, Izzy. Oh, let me see this. So, I'll give you a bit of a background. Yes. It's to the moon. It's Ned's record run, but. Um, I like the feel. Thank you. When I, when I would finish each day, I would put the to the moon top on, so okay. at the front of it. Yeah. And I would feel like I only put that on when I earned it. Ah. And so okay. every time I'd finish a long day, like a hundred k day, it was yeah. just like this. It was like a cloak of like, fuck yeah, you're, done, you're doing the work. Yeah. yeah you've fuck, yeah. you've earned this. And so every time I look down and say to the moon, it's like that. How you said, um, dare to be great. It's like this idea of like. You to know, the moon. to the moon, baby. Yeah. We're getting there. I feel you. So that you wear it or don't wear it at all. No, I will. Um, oh, fuck yeah. you. But know, it I is. Um, appreciate that, man. It's a, a cloak Thank of you. like you've done the work. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I feel you. Assurance. That's and it's the last. There's only one more of those. I like that. Set. It's like self-assurance that you made for yourself. Yeah. Just to make sure that, yeah the um something. the rest of them got burnt in a warehouse in Melbourne. Oh, they fuck. got arsons. Arson. Yeah. They um burnt it and all this like you know heap of other stuff that was in that building no. got your stuff up. as well yeah 400 of my oh no way. yeah yeah wow. so anyway you got one of the last two oh take it thank you yeah. cherish yeah. this yeah absolutely oh man how good is this camera's rolling <laughs> 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 well i, I didn't this even know we were doing this but i'm just like yeah, that's <laughs> all right do you want to do you want to talk about the moment that you got the message yeah yeah stuff? yeah yeah um no, i get the gist but i can't remember who brought it up to me that oh this guy's doing this and i think it was tim or ash one of them too told me that you were running across Australia for homelessness to raise uh, money for them. Um, and that you just wanted, like someone from your team said that you needed a little boost. Mm. So I was, then when I saw the story and I, I saw your page, I was like, oh, fuck it, this is cool. I sent the clip, but the best thing for me, like I said, that's why I said thanks in the tub, because yeah. it's like, I love rawness. I love realness, as in this. Especially for a tough guy like yourself as well to be vulnerable. I really appreciate that because I'm a tough guy and I get very vulnerable. Yeah. As you guys have seen. So I, I really people, appreciate um, that. I think people, thank you. I think people like to see that because they would assume yeah. that people don't. Yeah. Um, it was funny because I had sent you fucking six yeah. or seven different DMs. Yeah. I read God, them like, afterwards when I finally followed you. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. I love you, mate. Oh, I love you, uh, brother. But I, yeah. I was, it was just like this. It was like, as I've said to you before, it was like, there's something that I. It meant it like, not manifested, but I do manifest things where I go, um, if I put all my, everything into making this happen. You do. In this run and this whatever, this life. Mm. Um, yeah, it was something I was like, I reckon, because he's real, he seems real. You know, there's people that aren't real. There's yeah. people who are oh, yeah. <laughs> trying not to be, trying to be someone who they're not. Yeah. Uh, I think you can see through like. that straight away. Yeah. That's um, why I fought with you straight away as well, because I was like, yeah, this guy, it's, he, he knows. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, and I just, when I got that in the, in the roadhouse, we, it was my ninth night of eating schnitzel and chips. Damn. Um, it's not bad. It's yeah, not bad, it, but it's not... Mayo? Yeah, but uh, gravy. gravy. They call it schnitty okay. lube in Australia. Schnitty lube. Where did we learn that from? Schnitz, the schnitz. That, who taught me that? Josh Kuhn. That's like slang and then the yeah, juicy. Yeah, schnitty. Like, schnitz, like, oh, you want some schnitz? Like some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, Josh Kulibar? Like uh, no, this no. is uh, Josh Kuhn. He's a tattooist fighter as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was on the show. Our vocals on the show as well. Yeah. I'm getting tatted up. Yeah, yeah. What, what is the one? What's this one? This is Dragon. This is the so nice good. So I love this. You got the neck done too? Yeah, so he did the, um, my tattoos normally when I get them, they, um, they let their meaning of themselves be known to me like months later, maybe even years later. Oh, really? But normally I get them. Not before? Nah, I just get it because like, I'm drawn to something. and I'm, Maybe I like this character, or example, Toph. She's the one on my forearm from Avatar. And I've always See. been drawn to her and I was just like, I'm going to get a tattooed on me. And I finally got a tattoo, and then later on, the meaning or why or the relevance of why I got her tattooed meant came Show to me. That. But this one, I, it hasn't come up yet. Yeah. But I just like the way it looked, it's and I sick. hope I never get hired for any other job yeah, ever yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be right, mate. Yeah. I think you'll be right. It's like my mullet, but yeah. I can just cut oh, it off. Oh fuck! I love it. No, 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 I love that. <laughs> keep it. Keep it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's um, it's so good. No, I love the feeling, man. I love the feeling of accomplishing something as well. That's one thing I like. I can imagine, like we said. At the end of the run, like you said, there was helicopters, and yeah. you came over the horizon at, at was it Bondi? Yeah, down Bondi. Yeah, and sent like, how many people was there? I don't know the the real numbers. It's thousands. like it's like that um, you know, when you catch a fish and it just keeps growing in size. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like um, Bro, I think yeah. it was ten thousand. Now Damn. It's 20, it was, yeah. uh, I reckon thousands. there's there's anywhere in that twenty thousand. Fuck few, yeah. Few more, That's still gangster to do like for that some many of that, people. I, I'm sure it. you feel it every time you go and fight, but there's yeah. this sound. So they get, they got to a level of this sound where it doesn't get any high because it's so loud. Yeah. It's just the people just screaming. The energy, at you. yeah. And you're like, like, I could not take it more of it in. It was yeah. like, yeah, all my, every part of me is just in, like indulging in all of this action. It was, yeah. it was just wild. Fuck yeah. Who was but, at the finish line? Uh, Mum and Dad were holding the banner. Oh, ah, yeah, that's cute. That's fucking that's wild. That's cute, yeah. I, um, yeah, I'm running through past all these people and I was like, I didn't really clock anyone I knew mm. except for the four people on the van that were driving in front of me with the film. Oh, yeah. My girlfriend, yeah. my videographer, my photographer from the whole trip yeah. and my physio. Oh, yeah. So yeah, all four of them yeah. were on the back there. Didn't take in any of the people. True. And then we get around the corner and then- You're just so focused in that moment. Yeah, just like, we've done it. We've mm. done it. We have literally spent 17 hours a day running mm. And we have done it. And look at these people that we've brought on the journey. Yeah. And then um, we got a pull in, and there's mum and dad just like crying with uh, this banner. They and they spent the whole 47 days with me. Oh, really? They yeah. did as well. It was oh, so unbelievable. Oh, beautiful. That was the whole all six of us plus me. Nice. Um, yeah. Oh, it was that's just, cool, man. You have this support as well, family support. Absolutely. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, and so, how are you feeling about this fight? Talk oh, I'm to ready, me. bro. Trust me. Like, for me personally, it's you know what's funny. Every time I see people. And they come talk to me or they, you know, take a picture or whatever. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, go get that belt. Mm. Oh, yeah, make sure you bring that belt back home. Oh, you know. And for me in my head, I'm just like, fuck the belt. Fuck the belt. I'm going to knock this out. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to beat the fuck out this But I don't say that. I just kind of like, it just like, it rings in my head. I'm like, yeah. oh, thanks, man, because I appreciate the support. Of course. And they're all doing it out of uh, love. Love. And yeah. that's that, you know, as you talk about the groupie thing, yeah. it's like, they're only... Well, the groupies are different. No, fans... Because you have... Fans are fickle. Don't get me wrong. I understand this game now, and I'll mm. never shy away from be, telling the truth. Fans mm. are fickle, but then you get some people... Because when they're in a group, in a mob, they, oh, can, be so they can be so stupid. They can be so stupid. But when you have people one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes you get the coolest people, man. And I'll honestly... Jeff's seen me. My brother's seen me. If you give me respect... Even if I'm like, if, oh, brother, can I get a photo? If I'm at the airport and I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm in a rush. And, oh, that's all right, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll come give you the photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't like tell them this, but like it's for me, I'll be like, okay, oh, real quick, and boom, I'll take a sneaky one because I can just take their phone and just do a sneaky one. Because once they, once I do this, or they do this, yeah. and someone also clock that and be like, yeah, oh, and yo, and then it becomes like you, I see it, it's like a zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. But anyway, for me, um. What was I saying? Fans, yeah. For me, one-on-one, -on -one, when I have those kind of interactions, I, I cherish those, and those mm. even mean more to me. And even if I can't, because I'm busy sometimes, so I'm with my family or whatever, yeah. I'll at least try and like make some kind of contact or acknowledgement, yeah. like I appreciate you. Yeah. But then you get those who don't really care. Yeah, they just... well, they, I think it's they think it's the last time they'll ever see you, so they take the opportunity to get the photo or go, yeah. instead of realizing why you're human photo? as well. Yeah. And, and why, it's like that. Even when they pull up on me now, I, I see it. Like they see me and they're, they're like, nervous. oh my God. And then they start reaching in their pocket 
It looks like they're about to pull out a gun. Yeah, yeah. It's I know wild. They know, but like, it's like, I know they're going to pull out the camera, and I'm just like, brother, I'm just trying to. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you so that's much. It, yeah, yeah. And they kind of realize themselves. It wasn't. Hundred percent. I did one the other day. What was one the other day? King of the Ring. David was next to me. Yes, I was watching King of the Ring. One of the waiters who was bringing food to our table, because mm. I brought. He asked me for something, and I was like, "Oh, here." And he goes, "Brother, just so you know, I'm just. I'm such a huge fan. I fucking love you. I'm like, I appreciate it, man. Thank you." He's like, "Bro, I'm gonna chuck fifty on you for the next five day. I'm gonna chuck." And I'm like, "Yeah, cool, <laughs> bro." He's like, "I'm betting on you." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm betting on me too with my life." <laughs> that's that's so good. Like, yeah, 50 bucks. <laughs> fuck, your, fuck your multi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. 50 bucks. <laughs> Do I care? I'm like, fuck, I'm betting my life on this shit. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know why people want to tell me that because like, I care. but It's I, also that a lot of people are probably just like they don't know what startled. To say. Yeah, no, like, it is. I, you know uh, what it is? You, it's you, it's you, learned it's behavior funny. as well. It's learned behavior. It's people think that w when you see someone you deem either a celebrity or has some kind of clout or mm. notoriety, they all start to sound like NPCs sometimes because they say the same thing. Mm. You know, NPCs in video games, like yeah. non-playable characters. Yeah. And then they just straight away, can I get a photo? I'm such a yeah. big fan, this and that, right, right, right. You know what I like? I like when someone doesn't know me. Not when someone pretends they don't know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they actually don't. Yeah, when, yeah. like, I, some people sometimes they try and pretend like that. Yeah. I'm like, oh, they don't give a fuck. I'm oh. like, cool. But like, the ones that, oh, I'm sorry, I, everyone's making a fuss about you. Like, I'm like, oh, it's all good. Hi, I'm Israel. Because I get to meet mm. them for the first time on, yeah, it's on nice. like a, it's rare for me these days. So that way they have no preconceived notion. Of course. And you'll feel this eventually as well, where someone gets to meet you and then they have no idea of who you are from YouTube or from TV well, it's just or like what meeting you do. That, that person, like this, this stuff never used to happen back yeah. 100 years ago. Yeah. It was just you knew people because they were in your tribe. Or exactly, in your, in your circle. Area where yeah. you lived. And all of a sudden everyone's, no, they, they the think Brit they know the me. Britney effect. Yeah, they, they know me. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me started on that docu. You watch it? Yeah. Brother. Uh, it's bad, my it? worst nightmare. Yeah, filling up your car. There's 400 people filling Oh, uh, my worst nightmare. Like, there yeah. was one where she ran a red light and the guy was like, look at her. Oh, she's damn. crazy. Yeah. I'm like, bro, yeah, because you're yeah, fucking chasing yeah, her. Yeah, you're chasing her down the bus. You're bastard. hunting her. Like, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah. But yeah, I don't want that for my life. I don't want mm -hmm. that for any of my people. No. I just, because you always think that, like, coming up, you think, Especially as a teenager, when it was like that, that era of um, MTV Cribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That MTV peak era. Everyone thinks they want to be famous mm. and rich. But then I've That's always great. said now, I'm like, fuck fame, but I love the perks. Yeah. yeah I love yeah. the perks. Don't get yeah. me wrong, but fuck fame. I'd rather just work hard, make a lot of money. I can look after my family generationally. Yeah. And I wouldn't be, like some of these tech people who someone doesn't know, I'm like, bro, they got it good because they are richer than some of these athletes and whatnot, actors mm. and whatnot, but then they get to just like cruise, yeah, you know, yeah. low key. What, um, yeah. What's it look like for you after the fight? What's the... After this fight? Yeah. Ooh, let me see. I haven't thought that far ahead, to be honest. That's normally nice. I, I, like, I can, normally be weird I if you had a good answer. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, normally I peek through, like this is when I, you know, when I was champion and I was running the division. I'd set up the next fight like low key, I'd be like, right, after I take this guy, I want this guy next. Like, mm. I would already do it before the fight, I'm just peaking, but I'm still focused on the guy at hand. But nah, this fight, I've done nothing of the sort because, you know, I'm the one this coming in to, to, to take this guy out. Like I said, fuck the belt, I'm coming to take this guy out. That's, mm. that's my only goal, so I don't really, I haven't looked past him in that sense. Not even like to who's next. Yeah, I'm being honest, I haven't looked past him and been like, who's next? I'm just like, everything I'm doing is fucking it's on this guy, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. get this guy out of there. Yeah. It's the same, when I finished, just I was two days before finishing the run. Yeah. And I had my dad's best mate pull up to the pub and we had dinner with him. Mm. And he goes, so what are you doing when you're done? And I go, fuck. <laughs> Not sure, I haven't really yeah. thought about that. <laughs> Each day has been, okay, get up, 3.30, get out the door, 4.30, try a run. Mm. Forget about this, try to do this, try get to freaking the next point. And then yeah. it was literally like, I don't know, mate, because yeah. I have no idea. It was going A, B, C, D, yeah. E, F. Yeah, how do I get through yeah. today? How do I get through today? Day by day. Yeah. That's how I've been living right now. It's so good. It seems, you seem very calm and very uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. excited. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. It's just like, I could, even for me, I'm like, because he's trying to poke the beer, I don't know, he's trying to intimidate me or whatever, but I'm like, I, yeah, cool. I don't try Is to Is he active on like social. socials and stuff? A little bit. He, Ash told me, he commented on one of the engaged things. And I had a read of it and I was like, huh. Who's that? He's something about, because we, we have this t-shirt now we just dropped, like yeah. the Hunter. 
And then he said, the fourth auto is coming for your chest, that it would be game over. I'm like, <laughs> cool. Sweet, <dude>. Yeah. <laughs> cool story, bro. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you. But um, yeah, for me, I'm like, why you even bother? Because I don't bother with him because I know it's not going to work. First nah. of all, he doesn't speak very yeah, English. Yeah, it's not, it won't, it won't even yeah, come translate, off. Yeah, so I'm like, he can, but he can try. And, he tried the last time to intimidate me, it didn't work. Yeah. You know, so I'm like, well, why would I try and intimidate him? Yeah. What I'm going to do strictly is just business, right? strictly business, skill for skill. Yeah. Don't, I mean, you can't eat. I'm bulletproof. You can't get in my head. So I'm like, let's see, skill for skill now. Who's the better fighter? So I'm telling you, I'm putting everything into this fight. Nothing else matters. So, yeah, I just want to practice patience till I get to the point where it's like, unleash me. I haven't talked to David about Sorry. it recently. Just as we're going to the recovery lounge, I, was, I just want to be unleashed. I can't wait. I can see the finish line, but mm -hmm. again, you can't run too fast and then gas out. You just have to stay the course day by day and get to that point. And when I get to that point, the referee goes, are you ready? You better, I'm, fuck yeah, I'm yeah. ready. Like when they say that, I'm like, Go out to fire, I just love it, work. hanging on the Yeah, yeah I'm, uh, that's a signature, bro. That yeah. right there, that's a pose that. Yeah, I, if know, anyone does it, it's not. Yeah, you can't, nah, you can't it's not, that. I don't mind, I don't, I don't mind. F flattery, <laughs> you know, I'm flattered. Imitation yeah. is the greatest form of flattery, but like for me, it's like, that moment right there when I'm holding onto the cage, yeah, you're ready. I'm leaning, I'm just like, let's just let me go. It felt let like in go. that, um, in the gym today, there was mm. like, oh, I felt like a, it's like, you know, close to fight. And I was like, I said to you, I was like, is it always like this kind of feeling here? Like, it seems like everyone's, he's like, yeah, it's just because close to the fight. It's, I think when there's Business. no real fight, it's just training. It's all yeah, a bit fluffy, yeah. everyone's having fun. But there was a definite like, we got serious. Ooh, Oh, shit's happening here. Yeah. The boys are boys are ready. And I was um it was, it was very cool to be <laughs> yeah. um to witness that. I felt mm. like you know, everyone and even seeing the guys like, you know, get up for you yeah. and try and be like, Well, we've got to we've yeah. got to imitate this bloke. This guy, we'll do yeah. this. Shout out to Benny Johnston. Uh, he's my yeah, dude. Incredible. He's, yeah, he's he lives in Brisbane. Yeah, but, Logan um, in Brisbane. Yeah, 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 but he's the man. He's such a he's such a cool dude. Like, cause he's come here a few times and this is the time I feel like I really got to like know him a bit more mm. and like because he's been helping me with this fight he's such a good trading partner i have a lot of other great ones as well i've got ben boys i've got navajo sterling carlos Alberg, you mm. know um even tyson came down tyson Pedro yeah. from sydney to help me with this fight so good literally just to help me how does that feel having these like it backed me that's um, it's really yeah. good it lets me know that these people believe in me but it yeah. feels like that happens when it's someone else. It's just mm -hmm. like everyone, everyone does. Them, yeah, and then exactly. Goes, this bike. Yeah. So when it's my time, I try to because sometimes I have to travel, so I'm not always able to give my body to the gym. But I do it. I make up for it in many other ways. But whenever I have time to give my body to the like for the hard workouts, I'm always there. Yeah, dude. But when you walk in yeah. that, like when you walk in a room like that, that's uh, you mm. know they if they're if it's one of those young blokes coming yeah. up and going. Oh shit! Is he here for this? Yeah. It's like that's. I notice it. I notice it. Yeah. And, uh, people have told me about to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I notice that people. Even Eugene has that as well. When he's yes. uh, in the training, I notice people's uh, they shape up. <laughs> it's a pretty cool um, to be able to have a presence like yeah. that. Uh, he's a man. It's because cameras are around today. Oh, you got a little taste when he's talking about the Aussies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a funny. He's, he's a hilarious. fucker. He's a rude voice. Even about the knife, I'm like, you yeah. Show. <laughs> Dude, I'm uh, me and him have had. We've had our moments, but we've, we've been together through thick and thin. That's so what a good like, coach is, man. Exactly. Yeah. So he knows how to push my buttons, and I know. I'm like, fuck, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. So he goes and tries to pick on the little bro. Yeah. He's getting to you, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's earned the stripes. He's earned the stripes. Yeah. When are you going to Miami? Are I'll going? be LA on the 7th, and then I'm heading straight so over. Oh. No way. So you're there before, the, like the day before the fight. Before the fight. Oh shit, let's go. Yeah. I bet. And then Easy. I'm um, to the 14th. Ready to rumble. In Boston. Boston. And then Boston, after Boston uh, back home. No, to um, Oregon. With Oregon, Ken no Hayes. way. Oh shit, that's yeah. my dog. Yeah, shoot and Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd We're be doing cool. um, run, leaf, shoot in, uh, in nice. Oregon. He's oh yo. And... Yeah. Well, he's the guy if you want to run with. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can. I think he's going to try and bury me. So I'm, I'm, get, <laughs> I'm getting my fitness back up. Yeah, bury you. tries to bury you. Like, right, let's go. Yeah, uh, and so I'm trying to get a bit of strength up as well so yeah. he doesn't make me feel like a uh, little bit. I'm sure he's he's a guy that would be, I guess, good to be around for your, for even what you do just because he's he's done, I mean, like ultra marathons. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's just like a go-getter. I just finished reading his book, actually. Keep hammering. Yeah, he's yeah. just like, he just knows that what he does is not healthy, but he literally works a 
seven to, oh, seven till five every day. Mm. He's like, I've got to get up, get my K's in. So the where, where it gives is my time in bed. Yeah. Sleeps five hours. He's like, Fuck. he's what it is. It's like that Must be nice to get like, sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, this is my rest time. Yeah. Oh, well, that's my rest time now. Pick exactly. It up and look to the so next I'm, one, yeah. I'm very keen for that. And, that's gonna hopefully open doors. Cool. So after that, we're Oregon, then you're going. Oregon, then I'm gonna go to Utah and play a bit of golf, and then I'm. Yeah, um, fuck. So you got a little American tour. American tour fuck for, yeah, for about cool. a month, and then. Um, yeah. And then I'm off. Then I'm nice. Back home. Nice. Yeah, and then uh, gonna get into my YouTube channel. Oh, nice. Good lad. <laughs> He's a guy. If you ever, honestly, he, the algorithm. The algorithm. Yeah, yeah. I know. Okay, I'm, here we go. Algorithm I'm useless doesn't... with all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I yeah. could put effort. I, I could. You're an athlete, man. I can do whatever I want to do. I'm very coachable, but I'm just tired. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm just like, uh, even like I said, cleaning. Bro, so I, this is my first house. I've lived in many houses. This is my first house I started using the dishwasher because nice. I grew up in a very Nigerian helpful. household. I grew up in a Nigerian household. And, you know, yeah, exactly. My dad, you paint the bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. watched the play. Yeah. yeah. So I had to, and it got ingrained in me so much that even whatever flat I was in, I would never use a dishwasher. Yeah. I would have to wash it by hand. Yeah. But then recently exactly I started getting maids in and it's, they were in today as well, but the thing is, it's, like, it's so, it's so nice. And so it's coming back home and it's like, oh, it's clean. clean. My mind can relax after that fucking crazy work. I can just like, yeah. uh, I just melt in here and I just chill, watch TV or hang out with my friends or whatever. So good. Yeah. But no, oh, you've got, to it, learn, you've got it happening, mate. Yeah. Um, I'm, it's been a pleasure to be you today. Brother, you already, I already knew we were going to be like this, but yeah. like I said, you wait till after the fight. We're going to yeah, have no. some fun. Yeah, no. Some proper fun. <laughs> so good. Yeah.